first off, I would just like to start this by saying this is by no actual chance of vlog, but later on in the video, y'all gonna see my trial and error of trying to film this story time initially yesterday. And you'll understand why I'm doing this again the second day. While I was looking at locations to do so, I saw this and I just feel like it's adorable. So I'm going to include it in the vlog. Look at this. Little free library. That's adorable. Look at it. That's so cute. Let me, let me show you what's in here. So you literally just come up here no strings attached just look in here pick out what book you want put it back okay so i had to remember that this is in cloverdale which is very not my race so I, I'm, a, I'm gonna help them out and you know put some little you know black written literature in there so right now and subscribe to the channel right now right now hit the subscribe button hit it right now like the video comment on the video share the video tell five people you know to do the same okay because you know i'll be on here telling my business i don't know if you heard or not but baja queen 94 we just reached 100 subscribers earlier this week congratulations to us i don't understand why I cannot get this story time film, but it's just like everything keeps on popping up that's negative, that's preventing me from being able to do so. I done told about two other stories and I just don't feel like telling them no more because I didn't have to tell them so many times and I still haven't got it recorded. Y'all just bear with me, okay? Bear with me on that and also bear with me on this special surprise that I got for y'all for my 100th subscriber video. I know it's going to be a little delayed, but like I said, I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. Bear with me. Before I get into the story time, I know I'm out here with some shades on, in the shade, giving y'all all the Tina Turner tea. The real reason why I have these on is because your girl just got off of work like three hours ago. I'm tired. I look it too. And I'm not putting on any makeup right now. It's just not going to happen next best thing is these shades. School is back in full effect and I just feel like it's just necessary for me to tell another story about my time at Spelman. Here it goes. So if you know anything about the AUC, you know that the first thing they kind of get you hyped up on are these um, promoter parties, right? Where you, you pay for these tickets that span from like 10 to $20. You get on a shuttle go to this far far place or far away and i'm not taking anything from because those parties were lit from, from welcome to atlanta yeah that's the only one that i made it to but they were they were pretty well that's the only one that i can remember the name of that i made it to they were pretty lit but the fact that you you pay this money almost every weekend when these parties come up and you, you have the same DJs, they have the same playlists. Like I said, it's lit, but then if you go week by week by week, you start realizing that it's a pattern to this. You have the same people that you party with the week beforehand. It gets so just monotonous. And plus I'm just cheap. So that kind of sped up my, my time of being kind of worn out with this whole promoter party way. One of our RAs actually told us like, y'all freshmen are really getting jipped with these promoter based parties. A lot of people just go to kickbacks. They really don't even fool with that other stuff. We like, okay, let's, let's, let's go to a kickback. 
if you are from the AUC, if you ever heard of the AUC, very funly, you know about Parsons, which it's like a double-edged sword. You can either get shot on Parsons or you can have the time of your mother freaking life. Back then, all of HH, third floor, penthouse princesses, we went everywhere together. When I say everywhere, everywhere together. So all 55 of us decide we finna go to this kickback. High waist shorts in hand, all right? Crop top, all right? We are ready, geared up to go. We go to the kickback and you know, everybody, they wanna leave at different times. So me, one of my friends, um, we're gonna call her, yeah, I'm gonna really have to give her a fake name. We're gonna call her Isabella. And then the other one we're gonna call Kayla. All right, I was with Isabella and Kayla, right? So we decide we're gonna leave the party early. Start walking back to campus. We start going down the promenade. And once you get to a certain point, there's some gates that you gotta go through to get onto Clark's main campus where security was. Well, Isabella, she was at her level. Isabella was definitely at her level. So we walking up there, security asking for IDs, and she's just, she's having a fun time having a conversation with them. He asks, are we doing okay? She's like, yeah, everything is fine. And just all bubbly and everywhere with it. So with that being said, I just realized that like, walking in, in the lit areas, where most of the people were more authorities and all that stuff was not gonna be for Isabella this night. So we decided to turn back around and go down the side road and then we were gonna cut through the direct entrance to, well, the direct back entrance to Morehouse. We walk in and a car pulls up beside us. It's these three dudes, right? It was a dude that was driving. We are gonna call him Arthur cause that's who he reminded me of. He had a big head, glasses, like geeky glasses. It was um, a white guy in the front. We're gonna call him Rick, like white boy Rick. And then um, it was a black guy in the back. We're gonna call him Jamal. So they um, they pull up, they like, where y'all going? Like, and I'm thinking in my head, it's just two o'clock in the morning. Where you think we going? We going back to campus. They're like, well, you still trying to get lit or whatnot? Which was lit. I don't know if it was a word back then. I don't think that was a thing back then. But basically, that was the gist of the conversation. I'm like, I, I guess. I don't know. They had bottles of Ciroc in the bag. So, you know, hey, 18-year-old Maya and friends, why, why, why turn it down? We get in the car, and we, we head back to Morehouse's campus, right? And the place where he stayed at i actually okay like if you if you're familiar with morehouse's campus gray sits up there on the hill on the left hand side and then it's like dorm a dorm building right here i wasn't even aware before that night that this was a dorm building i thought that was a place where they had classes at but i was wrong we all go in and we kind of like fall back behind the guys we up here whispering amongst ourselves and Kayla tells me, you know, I haven't lost my virginity yet. And I, you know, I, I wanna I wanna lose it to white boy Rick. So I'm just like, we're gonna make that happen. And I don't understand why I just took it upon my responsibility. I guess it was because I had like recently a couple months beforehand lost my own. So I just felt like I want everybody to feel this happiness of what men have to offer. You wanna lose your virginity? You want to? You want to? Hold up, wait a minute. I'm gonna find a way to make sure you are able to do so. Go into the room knowing that what Kayla wanted to do, so everything to that point was to basically get her to score. I didn't like any of these boys at all. So I, I'm just here for moral support and to make sure everything goes as planned. They actually, um, they start grinding and all that stuff and they start doing all this extraness and um they start dancing like if y'all remember back in the day those grind videos with like the multiple dudes and somebody mama living room with pretty ricky playing in the background and it's just all weird like it's borderline gay but then i don't know as a 15, 14 15 year old girl we didn't see that as all the way gay because some of us at this moment in time probably got babies by these people that was doing that stuff 
quiet is as kept. I don't judge though. They start to pick out which which one they want to go to. Jamal goes to Isabella, whatnot. White boy Rick goes over there to Kayla, and I'm just like, okay, okay, okay. Like you know, I'm just like, yes, everything is set in plan. I'm not thinking that you know the third person is going to want to couple up with me because I'm not here for that. But here comes Arthur. <laughs> He, he, he come over here dancing on me and all that stuff. But I'm just like, whatever. Look, come together and you leave together. If we leave, then we're going to mess up this situation for her. So, after a while, the, like, separate lap dances, they decide to, like, one by one, divide off into their separate rooms. But lucky author, me and him were already in his room. So, I didn't even have no excuse to leave. At this point in time, like, everything just stopped working in the favor of me, which... Nothing up until this point did, but everything just specifically started working against me at this point. I'm in here, and um, the whole time I'm just thinking, I can't ruin this for her. We, we got to make this happen, so I'm going to hold it out. I just keep on thinking the whole time that I'm there, like, I don't want to be here. I don't want this guy touching me at all, but I got to make this happen for my friend. I got to take one for the team. So, with that being said... The, um, the night progresses, Arthur is still dancing. I don't know, like, nobody's throwing one, so I don't know why this kept on going. And mind you, back in the day, I used to thrift a lot. I used to thrift a lot, made blue jean shorts out of the thrift store um, jeans, which were like, via 1980s, hard as crap. So, Arthur is grinding for his life, okay? He's trying to feel something, baby. And nothing to be felt through 1980s dental. He tries to get touchy-feely. I'm just sitting here like, nope. 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 And I'm just like, bro, how much longer do I have to go through this? Because right now, this friendship is not worth all this. It's really not worth it. He, he finally gets the message that nothing is gonna happen and he just is like, you know, you want me to take you back to campus? I'm thinking... Ooh, I don't I don't want to leave just yet not because I don't want to leave you because I really want to leave you I really do don't get me mistaken I really do want to leave you but my friend my friend Kayla and white boy Rick they got something going on and I'm trying to but at this moment in time like I'm not gonna make no excuses for them they should have it, it shouldn't take that long it should have wrap it up because other people got other stuff to do I got class in the morning like come on baby it, it, it's not you don't even you haven't even known him that long so what what could y'all be talking about why is this process longer than the process of y'all getting to know each other I'm like yeah I get in the car takes me back to the gates right get to my room and I hear Isabella because she lives right next door to me and so I peek my head over to her room and I'm just like Isabella what's going on like why are you still here where's Kayla she was like oh we've been back y'all been back yeah we've been left why didn't nobody tell me we tried to call you girl I did not have any service in that room but nevertheless I thought it was obvious that I did not want to be there with that boy so if you could not contact me on my phone you could have just came back to the room that we started off in knocked on the door asked was I ready and I would have been like yeah I was ready before we got here yeah I took one for the team and guess what Kayla didn't even do nothing no she said that they backed out of the whole ordeal and I'm just sitting here like all this for nothing I had to get I had to get hung for a whole probably like 45 minutes for you for the sake of you and your virginity and nothing happened I got more action that night than she did there's no moral to this story because I feel like I showcased a lot of loyalty but at the end of the day what the f did loyalty do for me what did I get out of that y'all come back to the channel I have more story times I have vlogs I have reviews coming up I got a new segment coming up I'm working on I'm trying to get that together for y'all so just bear with me it is coming as soon as I can get it up here all right so yes like the video 
comment on the video share the video and subscribe to the channel and hopefully i will see y'all back here on another day y'all be blessed y'all be safe and y'all be back soon bye